Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's Kmart haul. Today I have a range of products to show you from home storage to pantry supplies to tech and also some makeup in there as well. So I've got some things from Kmart today just to help me out and help me organize my pantry. I'm trying to make myself a new pantry space for our family. So we have a little bit of a backup in case we need it. I've got a little space in the, in the kitchen now that I'm going to use as our backup for um, products that we've run out of regularly and products that we use regularly if we can't get to the shops or we can't get anything from the shops that we need. So if we run out, I can just go to that cupboard as a backup and I've got it there. I've got a lot of jars, a lot of storage things for the kitchen and for the pantry. You don't need to go and buy a whole heap of brand new products to do this. Everyone in the house has got some sort of storage things that they can use in their pantry like um, jam jars or coffee jars or even old Tupperware containers, anything like that. I do recycle a lot of things for the pantry as well, but I've bought a few other things because they, they were so cheap at Kmart. It's very budget friendly at Kmart and you can get away with doing your kitchen up or doing things around your house up on a very cheap budget. So I've gone and bought a few things. I hope you enjoy this video today and I hope it gives you some organizational inspiration and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, the first thing I got was this orange oil. It's 100% pure essential oil and it's 10 mil. In one of my last Kmart hauls, I bought the Petment one and I really love it. The Petment one's really nice. I was really happy with it. I did try and get the orange one last time with the Petment, but they were out of stock. So I got this one this time to see what it was like and I've tried it and it just reminds me of like the orange Tic Tacs. It's got a really nice smell. It's not too overpowering. I don't think there's a lot of different varieties in this. I think there's only two or three that I saw, but I think it was just, I was really after like a citrusy smell. That one and the peppermint one I was really happy with. Now I got more of these in one of my Kmart hauls. I think I bought one packet of these. I'm not quite sure. I've still got most of the last packet. I just really liked them. So I got more of them. So these are just the, um, I think it's, I think it's OXX Studio is how they say it. Nail polish remover wipes. You get 30 of them and they're apple scented and they're acetone free. I've tried these on some of the nail polish that just, I can't usually get off it. You know how sometimes you can't get the nail polish off your nail and you have to hit it a few times because it's just, um, it's so difficult to remove. These work really well. I don't find them really strong like nail polish and you only really need one. I'm really happy with them for the price and that's why I ended up buying four of them. <laughs> I bought four because the last time I couldn't get any and I did end up buying some from the chemist of their brand ones and I think they were about $3 which wasn't too bad either but I couldn't pass these up for I think they're a dollar each. I'm going to pop all the prices and the information on the screen, but I think that I paid a dollar each, a dollar for a container of these, and you get 30 wipes, and they are great. So I've got four containers of that there, and I've probably got like a year's supply there, but last time I couldn't get them, and with Kmart, you do have to get a few things if you like them to stock up because they may not be there when you want them later on. I wanted to get some more USB cords because I've got like a couple that have broken now, um, they're old. I did buy an Anko one from Kmart last time and I bought a two meter one and I was really happy with it, but it's white. And all of our um, cables are white. I wanted to get a few different colors so I know what plug is what because having five different or five white USBs in a charging dock can get really confusing. So I saw this pink one, it's a really nice pink. It is probably like my favorite color pink. And it's like a ropey sort of a cord. So it's like that rosy sort of gold. It's called a, um, just, it's just called metal pink. And it's used for iPhone, iPod, and iPad. So it should be perfect. And I have tried this brand before with the USB ports and plugs and they work fine. And so I just got that one. I thought it was a really nice one. And it's two meters. But the two meter is so handy for when you want to use the iPad away from your charging dock or away from the adapter. It makes it so handy if you want to sit on the bed and you're not like cuddling up to a plug 
because you need to plug it in and use it. That's the pink. The blue, this is the cable teal, USB to lightning. And this one is a one meter. And I got the blue because I just wanted to get a couple of different colors so I know which color is what. You know, I can see that the boys maybe are plugging in their devices on the blue one and the pink one can be mine. And I thought they're really nice. And they were a pretty good price because we always need USB ports and plugs. So this is the Anco wall charger. I haven't tried these before. This is the first time. It's a wall charger and it has a four port USBs. I do have a charging dock that I got from Officeworks, which I'm really, really happy with. When I first got my charging dock, I thought there was no way I was going to use it. I'm funny like that. I do buy things sometimes when I think that I may not use them because I can surprise myself. And I thought there's no way I'm probably going to use this charging dock. But now I use it. It's just something that everyone in the house goes to to plug things in. So I've got a charging dock, which I'm really happy with. But I didn't have one of these wall chargers. And I like it how you can just plug it in and put your four devices in there plugged into it. And I might even use this one in the kitchen. Or my husband can use it for his office because he hasn't got one. So he has to come you know, into the house all the time to use the charging dock. And it looks like it's got like a little light on there once it gets plugged in. I'm pretty sure to tell you that they're charging. Just thought that was a bit of a necessity. So I grabbed that. But this is a monthly planner. I just like the size of it, so I grabbed it. It's got 24 sheets in it. You could use this for two years if you wanted to, or if you wanted to write down extra things on it. And it's, it's pretty plain, simple, it's bland, but I liked it had big squares on it. It's a good size to write a few things in the squares, I think. So the size of it's pretty good. It wasn't a bad price. I'm pretty sure it was about $3, but like I said, I'll put all the prices up on the screen. And it's got some little note section there that you can write some notes down the side. And you've got your Monday to Sunday and your month up the top. And you could make this any way you wanted to. You could design it, put some um, drawings on it. You can just sort of make it the way you want it. You could make, you could personalize it. It was very plain and simple and I can sort of do what I want with it. Okay, this is the e.l.f. brand from Kmart. I've used some of the e.l.f. products in the past. I bought a dual sharpener once and I really loved it. It was really good. I've still got it and I thought it was a really good quality sharpener. So this one is just a gel and powder eyebrow kit. I basically use this sort of a thing on a regular basis every day. It's just our eyebrow kit. This is in the light color. And I really like that it's got a mirror included, but it's um, create fuller, thicker, and more defined looking brow shapes and set your eyebrows. So use angled brush to apply the brow gel to de define and shape brows. Use blending brush to set color in place with the brow powder. And it wasn't a bad price either. So I just wanted to try it. My other one, that, one of my other brands that I'm using at the moment, I'm nearly out of that. And I thought when I saw this the other day, I thought if I don't grab it now, I'll end up running out of the other one I've got and I'll forget to get some more. So I saw it there, I grabbed it and I want to try it to see and compare it to the other brands that I do use. The brow gel and you've also got the brow powder. You've got a tiny little brush there to put it on. I got the light this time because sometimes I find that the medium can be very dark even though I do have dark eyebrows. So I just thought I'd try that one. I find I use the gel a lot more with these things because if I don't like the powder, I can use a different type of powder. But the gel is something that I find that I run out of more than the powder. I've got lots of different colored powders, but I just like the gel because it just sort of sets it. Okay, and while we're talking about eyebrows, I got another one. This is the OXX Studio and it's Define Your Brows. It's a tinted brow gel and it's in the medium browns. And I use these on a regular basis too, because it's usually got that little um, brush, like a, a mascara brush on the end of it that can brush your eyebrows in place. So between those two, I'll have a good mixture of, you know, getting the right color that I want, hopefully. And I also like having a thick eyebrow pencil as well. So usually I have like the brush 
eyebrow and I usually have the kit, like the gel and the powder kit, like I've got here. But I do need to replace my bigger eyebrow pencil because I find that the pencil really fills your eyebrows in. So um, next time I go there, I'm not sure if the e.l.f. make the eyebrow pencil. I didn't look the other day, but I will keep my eye out next time I go to Kmart, which I'm sure I'll be back at Kmart again soon. Anco rectangle labels. These were pretty cheap, 30 labels, and you get five sheets. I just got these to put in my desk because there's always times when the kids need a label for some reason or another for a school book or anything like that. I just thought oh, I'll just grab some labels and put them in my office desk just in case. And I'm not sure how good the quality of the ad adhesive is on the back, but you could use them for anything, but they were really cheap and it was just one of those um, grab and go sort of things. I saw it there. I thought, yep, why not? And I'll put them away for when we need them. So to go with some of the other drawers that I want to fix eventually, I just grabbed this. This one is the bamboo draw tidy and it's the large and the wide one so i've just got that one i tried it in the kitchen drawer and it doesn't fit in the kitchen drawer but i have very long office drawers in my roll top desk and this fits perfectly because my my um roll top desk drawers are longer than this that's how deep they go but so i just grabbed that and to go with that one i also have the medium um bamboo drawer tidy so that just fits perfectly. But these are a set. So these work as a set together when you buy the three of them. I'm, I'm sure there's more of them. I just saw these ones and I got them. But I think this was like around about $2.75 along those lines. And this was a little bit over $3 for that one. And they just look so nice. I've already got one like this in my office drawer already. And I use it like quite a bit. It holds all my pencils. So I have the... Uh, large bamboo drawer tidy there i have the medium one and i also have the small and narrow one so i grabbed these the other day when i went to kmart these are six bamboo utensils and i thought they were a really good price i think they were around five dollars and it includes a turner a slotted turner a turner with holes a spoon a slotted spoon and an angled mixing spoon. Oh, they were really nice. Really good price. And they're bamboo. So you've got lots of different um, different types in there. And I'm just going to pop them into my cutlery organiser because I find that I'm trying to get rid of a lot more of the metal spatulas because my pots and pans aren't designed for metal spatulas, but the wooden ones seem to be fine or the um plasticky ones but even though sometimes they melt so i really do prefer the wooden spoons or the bamboo spoons it's just a little thing that i thought i'd grab these are a little bit different these are acacia mini bowls if i turn them over like that and they definitely are mini but they are so gorgeous look at these okay so they've just got they've been oiled so they've just got oiled paper in there just to keep them oiled. I'd say you'd have to oil them now and then. And that's, I'm not sure how you would do it. Maybe you could use um, some olive oil in there. But anyway, I thought these were gorgeous. I know my youngest son is probably going to use these more than anyone in our house. But aren't they just so cute? And the wood is beautiful. So what I was thinking was, you could put dips in this. I don't think you would use something that would be too wet because it may run through. I'm not sure. I would have to try it. But maybe like a thick dip like a French onion dip would be good in it. You could put, um, you could put nuts in there or even little pickers. I'd say that my son would use these for like little biscuits like shapes. Um, you could put little chocolates in there, little lollies. And also I thought, look at this one, this one's gorgeous. That one's, that one's a decent sort of size for a few little pickers. If you had a few people over, you could put some nuts on the table. Some bickies. And maybe a little bit of dip. 
these would be great little organizers to put your jewelry, to put your earrings, your necklaces, and you could put them all on a tray. You put them on a tray and just put all your like knick-knack things in there. So I got this handled fridge basket. I wanted to get about four or five of these, but this was the only one they had left in stock. They got two handles on them and they fit the fridge perfectly. Well, they fit my mine perfectly. And I think I will use it in the fridge now. I did think about buying them for under the sink, but now I've decided to put other things under the sink to try and give myself some more room in the kitchen. But these would be good in a bathroom, um, fridge, under the sink, maybe the pantry. This would be great in a pantry. I don't know, maybe that will end up back in the pantry when I've organized my pantry. But at the moment, I'm thinking about just putting it in the fridge. Okay, I've tried to get these in the past too, but sometimes they run out of stock. So when you get these, you've got to be lucky. I got this wire under shelf basket. This is going to fit in the pantry and I'm just going to put extra things in there, probably like enchilada bread, like the taco breads. I'm not sure what else. I just, I tried it in the pantry and it works perfectly. You wouldn't put something too heavy on there because I don't think these would be that strong for holding too much weight maybe under um, a sink or in those like your cupboards in the kitchen, you could probably put them in there and put things on them. But yeah, obviously when they do go onto a shelf, underneath the shelf will take up less room. But I just think these are really handy to use as a like another little area to organize your things in the pantry. It would be good under the sink to put things like, um, you know, your microfiber rags under there or even if you had tea towels under the sink, things like that, sponges. So that's the wire under shelf basket. I absolutely love these round pantry turntables. That's why I bought three of them. I've got one already that I put my coffee and my sugar in and my tea. So I've got three canisters that I bought from Kmart a while back. And I just put it all into the tea and the tea coffee station in a little area in the kitchen. And I just put the canisters on there so it's just on a turntable and I put my coffee tea um, sugar canisters on there and it's just really easy it's easy to wipe over even though that's a very um it's like a sticky sort of a matting there but I find it quite easy just to get sugar off things like that but I bought these three for my pantry because I'm going to the pantry I'm trying to get um you know a few extra things just to make it more room in there so these are really good for like corners in the pantry, put on bench tops to put things in, to put your vinegar, your oil, your salt and pepper. Um, yeah, so it's quite handy. So these would work good in any place in your home really. So for the price of these, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure they're around $9, but I'll put it all on the screen for you to see. So I do, I do have a lot of pantry organization things, but these might end up in different areas around the house. Okay, so I've got two of these. Sorry, Maya, the cupboard that I'm using at the moment isn't very wide to show you the labels on them. So these ones are the clear, draw, large and narrow. And these are quite long. These are 10, sorry, these are 7.8 centimetres in height by 10 centimetres in width by 40.5 centimetres in diameter. And it's got non-slip feet. And they are really long. So I tried these in the pantry and they're gonna work fine because I've got some little skinny pantry areas that I'm gonna slot these into that no other things can sort of go into next to it. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm thinking I'm going to use one of these to put my kids' cups in. I tried a couple of cups in there and it works perfectly and they don't get messy. So something like that, the cups, my plan is to put these in the pantry. They may not work out. It may end up in the fridge or it may end up somewhere else around the house but this was the plan when I got them. So that's the clear, draw, large and narrow. So this one is the three tier shelf. I already have our cans on one of these, but I got this one to put next to it. That's what I'm hoping to do. That's the plan because I find that I do have a lot of cans and sometimes the cans don't stack up on each other because they're different brands. But so this is the idea is I'm just going to put that next to my other one and make it longer so I can store all the cans on there together. Okay, so that's the three tier shelf. And these are always a good price at Kmart. Compared to other places, you can get these so much cheaper. 
So now I'm going to show you some of the jars that I've got for the pantry. These were really cheap. Pretty sure they're only around about a dollar a jar. These are the mini mason jars. I find them really hard to get anywhere. I've been trying to look for them and I finally found them at Kmart. Now these are great for things like chia seeds or um, pumpkin seeds. Just things like that, I think. You know, they're just like, they just remind me of a, a large baby food jar. <laughs> Find this size jar is really hard to get unless you keep some of the jam jars because sometimes you just have something extra left over that you may want to put in. I guess you could put yogurt and um, porridge in the fridge in them like people do nowadays. So that's the mini mason jars by Anko. So I got some more stickers. These are the ones I usually buy because I use these ones probably more often than the other ones. So this is the cookies, the crackers, the sun, the self-raising flour. I think I showed these ones in my last haul. You might have got a great range of these stickers, these labels now. Really great range of them for laundries, for bathroom, for the kitchen. They've, they've just got so many different types. So they are definitely worth checking out at Kmart because I think they're about $3, pretty cheap. And you do get, um, you get 45 pantry labels and these ones are the large ones. So that's a really great price. I think the stickers are good. I've tried to take them off and, well, I have taken them off and put them on different jars when the jar breaks and I want to keep the sticker. I've been able to do that as well. So these ones are worth checking out at Kmart. Now I have been trying to get one of these in such a long time and now I've managed to get one. These are the metal expandable organizer. These are for baking trays or keeping lids organized. They expand up to 50 centimetres to suit your space. So I did have to put this together, but I did it by myself. I didn't need any help from my husband. So that's a plus. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. I've already put it together and I've already used it. And I think they're excellent that I'm thinking of getting um, another one. I'm using it at the moment for baking trays. Thinking of getting one for the lids would be a good idea because I do store the lids on my Tupperware containers because it's easier just to grab them. But I might think about doing that and the lids for saucepans would be good for it as well. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is it here. It looks like more of a musical instrument. But I did have to put these, I think I put these ones on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I can't remember how I did it now. But it does come with a little book of instructions with it. I put them on there like that. So I just screwed them on. They were really easy to put together didn't take long. So this is it here. It's all together now. Hopefully it doesn't break while I'm trying to show you it because I did put it together myself. But you just bring it out like that and it extends a fair way for like muffin containers. I do have my muffin um, trays on there which are quite thick. So it's quite long. It's the great idea I've got mine, like I said, with my baking trays on at the moment. It fits a fair few on there. I'm really happy with it. I'd buy it again. Things don't seem to like collapse on there or anything like that. It's quite solid when everything's on it. So that's the metal extendable organizer. So here I've got three different size jars that I got. I got this one for my flour because I've got my flour in plastic canisters at the moment. I would like to take them out of the plastic ones and put them in some glass. I do like the clip lock on them. I've used them in the past and I haven't seen there's been too much problem with them, but I'll try them again. This one, this one here is a 1.5 clip lid glass container. So I've got a lot of flour and I bought three of them. So I've got three of the big 1.5 liters and they're good for like icing sugar, flour, anything really. I haven't got any jars that are cork. I like the cork idea. This one here is a 1.1 litre cork top bottle. So I got that one. These are a pretty good price as well. I'll put it on the screen for you. And also I got, and I love this little one here. These were really cheap. I'm pretty sure they're a dollar or two. Yeah. And they just look so cute. This one's got the rubber lid on it as well, like the rubber seal. And that one is a 
it's, 200, it's a 260 mil clip lid glass container. So that would be nice for um, yogurt and um, oats, yogurt, oats and berries in the fridge. I guess if you were making maybe a cheese, like a feta cheese or something like that, or making yogurt of your own, you could use it for lots of things. But once again, I got, so I got two of these ones. I bought two of these for the pantry and three of these each. I just didn't bring them to show you because there's so many of them. But yeah, so I've got a decent supply of containers now. Plus I bought those last ones in my last haul as well. Like I do recycle a lot of the coffee containers. I'll show you that when I do my pantry tour that I do recycle as many glass containers or glass jars as I possibly can, especially the Makona jars. But these were a really good price and I just needed a couple more just to help me out with some of my storage in my pantry. Okay, I grabbed some of these. These are black underbed storage boxes. I'm going to, in the next few weeks, put my kids' clothes away, their winter stuff, put all their seasonal clothes in these boxes. I went to Kmart hoping to get, there was a felt one, like a felt storage box that you put like above your wardrobe. I really liked them, but I couldn't get that one. They didn't have them in stock. So I grabbed these, these are collapsible. They're quite a good size. I've put one up to show you what it looks like. I can store shoes in there, blankets and accessories, but I'm just going to use it for clothes, for summer clothes, for winter clothes, purely for winter clothes at this time. And then I will swap them around for the summer clothes. And they're 18 centimetres by 54 centimetres by 43 centimetres. And like I said, they're collapsible and they come with a storage lid, which I liked. And I also like the idea that they've got a little area here where you can write whose clothes are what or whose accessories are what. If you've got a few kids in the house or a few people in the family, I think that's a great idea. They've got a handle on them. They've got three handles on there. And what I'm hoping to do is store these up on my um, kids' cupboards. This way I can just grab them down if I have a tracksuit top for the day if it was cold. It's a lot easier just to grab these out and I can just see whose clothes are what with the little um, pocket at the front that I'm going to write their name on. So this is the black underbed storage box. I bought three of these. These were around about $7 each. So these are a really good price. It's not something that the kids are gonna be into all the time because I guess if you're opening them up all the time, like every day, maybe they might, you know, start um, collapsing after a while. But I think they're pretty good for something if you just want to put them away and keep things safe and sound. So it's got a foldable lid on it. So it folds up. You know, and I think it's going to be able to store a lot of clothes in there. You could even store, um, you know, keepsake things in there like photographs. But either way, they could fit under a bed, up in a cupboard, in your wardrobe. I'm really looking forward to um, putting the winter clothes away now. It's just starting to get so hot in Australia. And I just, I just want to get back into the summer clothes, less washing, a lot more easier with a family and it's just t-shirts and shorts and swimmers. So yeah, I'm gonna give these ones a go and for around about $7, I'm pretty sure they were, they were a great price. So that's the Anko Black Underbed Storage Box. That's all for the Kmart haul today. I think I've got enough storage items to keep me busy for a while. I hope you've enjoyed this video today and I'll see you for my next one. Bye everyone.